Hi, I'm Carolyn. Hi, I'm John. And you just watched Act 1, Scene 7 of Macbeth. We said it. Out loud! But we're not I hope on, you guys aren't in a theater. We're not on, yeah, we're not on stage. So, uh, no, we're recording this for you. Uh, it's very fun. Um, John and I are married in real life, but we don't plot murder. No. So and Carolyn's a lot nicer to me in real life than... I like to think I am. Well, <laughs> um, this is just, uh, it's just such an interesting scene because I think, um, I think uh, Lord and Lady M love each other very much. And uh, this is clearly an argument that they're having in, uh, from my point of view. Uh, it's really not okay that he said, hey, this is what I want, this is my plan, this is gonna make us king and you'll be queen and we'll be king and queen together and I really want this. And then all of a sudden the timing and the circumstances are perfect to pull this off. No one would suspect. Like, it's just too easy. It's being handed to us on a silver platter. And the right before this scene that you saw started, he's like, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't do it. He's been really nice to me, I don't wanna. And uh, so where I'm coming from is like, why did you get me all excited for the why did you even tell me that this is what you wanted unless you want to go for something a hundred percent um don't doubt yourself it's it's kind of this really twisted pump up speech <laughs> to go murder a guy if it I'm wasn't sure. about murdering a really nice guy it's a it's a it's kind of a good uh like come on man Believe in yourself. I was, you know, I was thinking how, you know, in every scene as an actor, you know, for me, it helps to have a goal in mind. And, you know, in this scene, my goal is to get her to give up the plot to kill Duncan. Uh, and what's interesting, like Carolyn said, if it wasn't about murder, this would, this would be a very recognizable uh, marital Dispute now. Hopefully, most married couples are not as mean to each other as you are to me in this one, darling. But while we can't, this is something we have to do as an actor too. Is probably most people who do this play have not plotted the death of someone, but I bet they can relate to someone you love promising you something and then saying, "Oh no, I changed my mind." Yeah. So you can put yourself in Lady Macbeth's shoes to say. You know, well, I don't know what it's like to have a plot to kill someone, but I do know what it's like. If someone I love promised me something, now they're breaking their promise, and now I have to remind them how important it is to keep your promise. And if it's your goal in this scene to get me to stop with the plan, my goal is I tried several different tactics. There's the uh, a little bit of belittling um, of walking through the steps to how we got here of like, let me get this straight. Uh, sometimes spelling it out, someone, sometimes spelling out someone's behavior really plainly for them is a good way to show how ridiculous they are from her point of view. Like, okay, pointing out how ridiculous he is, uh, like to educate, like, okay, this is where we got to this point. Then it is, I, I, I don't think that she's someone who will just burst into tears and hysterics. But I do think that is a little card she can play of like, well, then why did you bring me into this? <laughs> and that was just a fun angle. And I can see that that was getting to him. But then uh, imploring his like ability to cast aside humanity of like, hey, and, and like, I guess what would it be connecting with you? And I'm like, listen, I've had a child and mm. I... Know what it's like yeah. yeah sympathizing so that's another tactic like hey 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 i would do that mm -hmm. if i swore the way that you did i would uh kill a baby <laughs> is what i'm saying so it's trying to sympathize um so all great tactics if yeah. you're trying to convince your husband to murder the king um now, and it's it's interesting uh, we you know we brought up goals and tactics other things we talk about as actors, both in Shakespeare or really any kind of acting scene you're in, we talk about obstacles and we talk about stakes. Mm -hmm. Now, my obstacle, obviously, is formidable because Lady Macbeth is strong. She's stubborn. She's determined. She's made up her mind. So all of these things are my obstacle. They're in my way. And then as far as the stakes, as far as what happens if I don't get what I want in this scene... He's I, only here for one night. Right. The king is only here for one night, and this is our one chance. Right. 
So that's yeah. our those are our stakes. And as I say, if we should fail, and man, is it bad if we get caught in the act and it doesn't happen. So it, it, all these things sort of feed the connections and the feelings and the and the actions uh, in a in a scene yeah. when you decide those goals, tactics, obstacles, and stakes. Um, yeah, and courage is another tactic. Uh, after empathizing, sympathizing. Um, yeah, and and that we come together. Um, it's a really great scene. And if they weren't two of Shakespeare's greatest villains, I would say they were Shakespeare's greatest married couple. Oh yeah, but, uh, <laughs> very fun scene to do. Very fun to get to do with a um, with a partner, uh, especially if you are married. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we hope you enjoyed it. We hope it made sense to you and uh, that you learned something new so thank you absolutely for watching